and most of them think politics is sport. And most of them cover it as sport. It is hot. But I'm glad you got to eat your Chinese food. Ten minutes. You have no concept of time. No, I really don't. I really, really, truly, 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 truly. Simply by talking about what he had done as a senator and what he would continue to do, and never mentioning his opponents. Presidential races are different, of course they are, and the competition is much more intense than the Senate race, of course, and it can feel much more personal. One of the ways of competing so on a presidential that debate stage it is simply making the in very in best case. Yeah. Um, the duvet in it, the like the feathers were loose everywhere. It's so weird. And I'm washing it on hands. It's supposed to be dry clean. There's still crap on the floor we need to clean up. How, did someone step on it in it or did it come from a butt? Here we are. They are all yeah, like fierce competitors. They are all fierce competitors. It was all they feathers with loose feathers inside. Other, but only by doing their own personal best. Politicians can learn, learn a lot from them. Joining us now is Waleed Shaheed. He's a spokesperson for Justice Democrats and a former senior aide to Alexander Gunn. Little jelly bean. Look at her. Bernie Sanders in the 2016 presidential campaign. And he is currently not affiliated. A 2020 presidential campaign, also with us, Ron Klain. He was a senior aide to Vice President Joe Biden. And why she's all the way to the side looks uncomfortable for her. You want me to get her some water? No, that was wrong. It's present tense now that you are formally advising the Biden campaign. I am, yes, it's absolutely. Uh, so give us, give us your reaction to what you saw on that debate stage last night. Look, I think you saw, uh, on the one hand, candidates did make a powerful case against Donald Trump. And I uh, thought, you know, Vice President Biden took it to Trump in his opening statement. Uh, Senator Gillibrand had her papers lying about four months. Paul Rock taking the Obama office. Governor Inslee called him a white nationalist. You certainly watched that debate. You saw the candidates take it to Donald Trump. But you also saw seven candidates. Uh, individually attacked the vice president and so uh, part of that debate was him dealing with those attacks responding to those attacks uh you know making points about his opponent's records uh that is part of the debate process and i think you saw both those things happening last night uh, well lead what did you see up there um well i saw candidates making a case for a different role. by the way feel free we haven't done a show since uh monday feel Fit? free to reach back into tuesday night anymore yeah. well so in that debate i thought we saw a really substantive Fit discussion about the role of government in the Democratic Party, the role of government in America. They pour it on her head? Tectonic yeah. shift from where the Democratic you sure? Party was in the 1990s. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren and uh, Bernie it. Sanders trying to make government work again. I mean, it's not that long ago that Bill Clinton said the era of big government is over, and now the era of big government okay. is back in the Democratic Party. All right, we're good. They're both kind of rekindling the spirit of the New Deal, the Great Society. I think in terms of your baseball metaphor, I mean, they have to be able to draw a contrast with other candidates.
option is they knew they couldn't get it through the House of Representatives. So for me, there's something uh, very familiar about all of this that I don't think as an attack. Yeah, look, I think uh, the discussion that went on in healthcare both nights, I think, was a robust and interesting discussion. And, you know, uh, to go back to what leads to it, I think one interesting thing is if you take kind of what the left side